So today you might be wondering what I'm doing. I'm going to make a, a reflector, a heat reflector for in behind the stove. It's been a long time coming. There's been quite a few people who regularly watch this channel who have been urging me to do this. It has been in my plans for a while and uh, today I'm just deciding to go for it. I was up late the other night thinking about how I might make this work and uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be movable. I'll be able to put it in and take it out. Um, that's the plan. Uh, I don't want to make it a permanent like backsplash reflector type thing because uh, I still have plans for this tent this winter so I'm not sure if I have something permanently done how that would affect my other plans. I don't take that far in advance sometimes. So I uh, yeah it's, it's going to be movable. I'm making it up as I go along like this whole entire tent shack that I'm in. For those of you who are new watching this my channel for the first time right now I'm not a, a carpenter. I'm, I'm not uh, in construction whatsoever. I'm just making this stuff up. I, I, I want to have this type of life, this type of experience out uh, in the bush. I love it in the winter time and so I'm just I'm just going for it by myself and uh, you know there's been some mistakes along the way and I've gotten a lot of help from from people who have commented and uh, you know some of that help is is a nudge a little push and that's what I'm, I've been getting lately. It's like, hey, you need a reflector, a heat reflector behind your stove. And I completely agree. So that's what I'm, I'm doing today. And it may not be up to spec, but that just goes with the whole entire tent shack.
I've changed my plans a bit. I was going to have two movable sections. Now I'm just going to have this one. It's going to go up along the side of the stove. And then I'm just going to take this uh, metal repair roll stuff and put it right on this wall. And uh, that's the plan right now. Uh, plans always change. So, you know, at first I was going to make two of these things and now it's just one. That's how it goes when you're out here just trying to make it up as, as uh, you go along. So the stuff I'm using is just like, it's just a metal repair roll. And uh, they say it's, you know, good for automobile <laughs> repairs. I'm not sure about that uh, for eaves trough uh, repairs and for, um, let's just say there, chimney and roof flashing repairs. So uh, this stuff is like really malleable. Uh, it's like probably five times thicker than tin foil. <laughs> if you were to ask me, it, it, uh, it can bend real easy. So anyway, yeah, it's uh, it's doing the job though, and, and hopefully it works. Well, this pump right here is broken. I gotta take it off and put on a new one. And, uh-oh, am I gonna make it? Oh yeah. There we go. And for some reason it just wasn't pumping. I mean, the gasket looks like it's in great condition. I don't know, the other day it just was not working. It might have been frozen. I wonder if just putting a bit of oil on that would help. Okay, I'll get the new one. Okay, so I'm gonna put some oil on the new one. There you go, you can see. Just to lube it up real good. Push her in. And hopefully, this one is better. Because the other one was a complete failure the other day. She's sealed in good now. Okay, let's test it out. Ok, 
Okay. There goes. Oh yeah. Okay, this is the first time I've ever cooked with chicken thighs. Normally I do fajitas with chicken breast, but the local grocery store did not have chicken breast. So, going with thighs. I love thighs anyway, so this will be interesting to see. Normally thighs are much more tender than chicken breasts and uh, a lot juicier too, so this should be okay. You can see there's a lot of juice in there and I'm not gonna strain it. I'm gonna add a little bit of water, some of the seasoning mix and let her rip. Oh, that meal was perfect. Sometimes a nice little package meal like that is the perfect recipe. I, I had a long day out here today. I just had a couple of pieces of toast this morning. So I uh, went with the old fajita mix and it was awesome. Got to have guacamole on top, that's for sure, and salsa. And it's good, it's very good. So really happy with the old heat radiation system over in the corner there with the stove. I can really feel it working. Like even right now, I can feel the heat pushing at me in a different way than I ever felt it before. And uh, so I'm really happy about that. And if I put my hand close to um, the, the new backing now, the new heat reflector, I can feel the stove heat on this side of the hand, and then I can feel the heat pushing back at my hand from the wall now. And that is just awesome. That tells me it is definitely working. Interestingly enough, it's cold to the touch, but I can feel the heat coming back at me. 
It's really awesome. So yeah, that's just another step towards making this little tent shack, uh, you know, perfect little tent shack. <laughs> it's it's going to be a process, that's for sure. But it's uh, it's coming along and it feels great. So I'm really happy. There's there's quite a bit more I need to do, but it's just one step at a time. Also fixing that Coleman stove today. I love cooking on Coleman stoves. I really do. And I love cooking on the naphtha stove. It reminds me of my time um, in, the, in the Eastern Arctic when I lived there for a while. I had one of those stoves. And I prefer them to propane because they will cook at any heat, whereas propane will turn to gel at minus 42. And minus 42 does happen where I am. So it's going to be a bit before I'm back, taking some time off after Christmas um, to allow myself to come out here and to really enjoy this place and to do some some uh, some work out here and to enjoy it spend some nights today is just a day trip and i would have loved to have spent last night out here but it just wasn't in the cards had a sick little little girl at home so she needed to be taken care of and uh it's fine like these day trips to me are are awesome i get to come out in the morning spend the whole entire day clean up go home sleep in a warm bed sleep in a warm bed have a nice hot shower and uh, just dream, like literally dream and, and daydream and dream all night about the next trip out and, and what I'm going to do next. And just using this camera, coming out here and just spending my time in, in this little spot on the planet that, that I just love. And I just love sharing it with you guys. So I don't know when I'll be back, but I'll be back really soon.